So no Pokemon Unite tonight. What we're doing is we're watching some movies, okay? I've been gone for a week. I'm finally back. I'm not even doing the proper YouTube intro. What we're gonna do tonight is we're gonna take it a little bit easy and we're gonna do some really hard-hitting investigative content. We're gonna learn some new things. No fell- okay, well, maybe a little fellas. Fellas, I was gone for a week to Las Vegas. I enjoyed my vacation. I got to spend a lot of time in the sun. I want you to know, in the seven days that I was gone, Watch Mojo put up legitimately, like, 60 videos. There are so many goddamn videos now. They do this all the time. They have even more channels. They have so many videos. How are we going to watch them all? How will we ever finish it? Well, they say that the greatest journey begins with but a simple step. That's why right now, we're going to check out the top 20 most dangerous animals in the world. Oh, God. If number one is a mosquito, I'm going to be so angry. Number one is humans. I, I'd be so mad. I hate that shit, dude. I hate it if it's like mosquito, human. I hope number one is a hippo. I'll make a bet with you guys on what number one is as we get in. This is top 20, so this is going to be a big list. That's true. It doesn't Welcome say most to dangerous Mojo. to humans. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 most dangerous Oh, dude, polar bears are up there. I forgot about polar bears. Chimps top one. Gorillas are four times stronger than a human. Ah, no. Or what? Not quite. A little bit more than that. Or the dogs with bees in their mouth, and when they bark, they shoot bees at you. For this list, dogs with bees in their mouth are number 13. Ooh! Did you hear that? Get out of here with that. That pose a danger to humans, but we will not be including humans on this. No list. humans. Are there any dangerous humans are not animals. We are creations of God. Comments below. Killer whale. Huh? Also known as orcas. Wait, by dangerous, do we? Are they the most dangerous to people? I don't know anybody that's died to this. Even while well, there have been some incidents between wild killer whales and people, name one. Attacks have yet to be reported. However, it's a different story for killer whales in captivity. Oh Since shit! The late 1960s, Blackfish. There have been an even that guy looks so happy though. Lots of discussion surrounding <laughs> the controversy. <laughs> that guy looked. He captivity. looked uh, pleased as punch. Oh my god! Look, god, look at those teeth. Man. It is blackfish. Oh my god! I've never seen those teeth. That will rend the fat from your bones. Those are number one. I think. Those are number one. Death stalker scorpion. That little thing? With young children and the elderly especially at risk. Oh. The third most venomous scorpion in the world. So he picks Death on Stalker's the weak. Oh, coward ass. So if you're in the neighborhood, watch out. Number 18. I I'm not really that scared. This big ass goofy bird? Related to dinosaurs? These things were in Far Cry, and I killed them with like two bullets. It's not that scary. While these large birds are cautious around humans, more than a hundred instances of people being attacked by cassowaries have been reported. A cassowary most wrote this book. Food. Thankfully, fatalities are rare. Wait, these are the top ten most dangerous, and, and fatalities are rare? Not dangerous at all. I sleep. In April 2019, <laughs> look at this dumbass. <laughs> That's so mean. I shouldn't say that. You can make fun of him though. He's dead and he can't get upset. True. He'll never hear this. Number 17, pufferfish. A pufferfish? Well, not the biggest or most ferocious. When you're eating, it, right? It's when you're eating it. I can see very clearly now those mouth parts. Ah! Pufferfish possess tetrodotoxin, which is over a thousand times more lethal than cyanide. Single what? Fish has enough tetrodotoxin to kill 30 adult humans. What the fuck? These things are just little balls of cyanide swimming in the ocean? Each one could kill 30 people? I would just like collect them all and use them as water balloons in war. I would just grab a bunch and I would just It would be over. All I need is 10 pufferfish and a slingshot. Only licensed chefs are allowed to prepare it as the slightest mistake could he practiced be every day for five years to learn how to cut a fish. In 1958, Humans are so weird. Who died from fugu poisoning at <laughs> Look at all those fish. Six. That's so Not sad. Dude, imagine being evolutionarily designed. You put all of your evolution points into not being eaten. You speck into please don't eat me. I'm mad poisonous and we'll both die. And humans are like, fuck you. I'm going to train for five years to learn how to cut into you. The fuck is your problem? I spent millions of years evolving so that you wouldn't do that. What's your fucking... 
fucking problem, dude. There are literally cows right there. Cows put all their stats in the wrong bits. Just eat the cow. There's other fish. I would simply not taste good. I bet they don't taste good. I bet they, dude, it's, it's fucking, you think it tastes good because it's expensive. It's like fish eggs. You're justifying your purchase. You know what else is a delicacy in some countries? Grasshoppers. Does it make them good? Cape buffalo. When you think of the most dangerous animals in Africa, the Cape buffalo may not be your first or even fifth thought. Mine is hippo. They're sometimes referred to- Ew, his brain is outside his head. <laughs> Just get a bat. <laughs> How is his brain- He doesn't even have a skull. Dumbass bull. Makes them one of the most dangerous animals in oh, the world of Africa, but the entire world. I saw the one. Number 15. Japanese giant hornet. How giant? Bugs, oh my god! One by one, they're picked off. Oh! The That's number one! On Earth. That's number one! These insects kill an estimated 10 to 50 people a year in Japan and injure many more. Man! The goal is to eradicate it now while the population is presumably small. Recently. Get these things off the fucking planet! Get rid of these things expeditiously, instantly. Extinction awaits. Yeah, I'm not letting PETA get in the way of this one. Y you get all of them. All of them have to go before they learn how to cross the ocean. Japan, get to it. We spotted in the United States. What? This invasive species poses a significant- They're here! I think she said they're not here. I hope. Copium. Number 14, grizzly bear. 14? 400 to 800 pounds on average. The grizzly bear is a force to be feared. If you're a fish. Along with their enhanced sense of smell and powerful claws, grizzlies can easily outrun humans and have a bite force Not me. to crush bowling balls. Not me, I'm fast. Coney, gorillas or bears, who would win? Who would win, chat? You guys know the answer. You guys know the answer. Who wins? That's right, Chicken Man Phil. Gorillas, gorillas, and we all agree. It's definitely gorilla. Hey, YouTube. Hey, who wins? Gorillas, right? Gorillas, right? Yeah, I'm it's been a week. Yeah, I'm glad we can agree. Gorillas, gorillas for short. Sure. You know they're four to nine times as strong as a human. That's absurd. How strong is a bear? Not that strong. Knowing how to navigate an encounter with one could mean the difference between life and death. He doesn't even have that many teeth. Sharks have like 50 teeth. I think I have more teeth than a bear. Do I have more teeth than a bear? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 16. I have the same amount of teeth as a bear. I think I have the same amount of teeth as a bear. How many teeth bear? Fuck. Wait, <laughs> wait, grizzly bear. Okay, the same, the same. Number 13, 42 Brazilian teeth. wandering spider. It lives a nomadic lifestyle, hunting and ambushing its prey. I wouldn't really call that an ambush. He stood right in front of you. That's your fault. This grasshopper is rather foolish. He doesn't even blend in at all. He's a brown bug. Afterwards, it can result in a total destruction of someone's sex life for the rest of their life. While its venom what? can be treated... How? How, well, how did that happen? I don't know. I don't know if I'd have sex with anybody that said they got really hurt by a little bug, you know? Get snuck up on by that guy. That's bad genes. You're not very perceptive. African elephant. Elephants are one of the most popular creatures on the planet. But that popular? doesn't make any less dangerous. I mean, I guess. Faris this was definitely dangerous. written by an elephant. It like and it took them a few year, weeks. A <laughs> they're drunk. Yeah, they step on people, bro. They're big. Oh, shit! The movie's too real. Turn to change the channel. Honey Badger. Consum Bullshit. This is a meme. What the fuck? You guys remember this meme? I bashed their fucking brains. In. I'm gonna get demonetized. I would trap them in a cage ethically. And release them back into the wild. And a loose but thick hide tough enough to resist blows from a machete. The honey badger won't what? hesitate to challenge and even repel <laughs> much larger predators. Eat his ass. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. He's not dead. What the fuck? Bro, what the what did this honey badger spec into? 
Number ah, 10. There it is. Hippopotamus. No. No, 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 no. Not 10. Not 10. Bump it up. Bump it up. Number go up. Hippos are so scary. They are aggressive. Yes. And have been Look known at to that thing. Without provocation. Without provocation. For no reason. Can you shoot a hippo? Can you shoot a hippo? I feel like they're too tough. You can try. Do they? They have guns in Africa. You gotta hit the right spot. It's like Big Buck Hunter. What do you gotta do? Like in the ear? It's like a Zelda boss. But like really small. Maybe he's got a big eye on his belly. Number seven, sloth bear. Sloth bears. I forgot these things existed. Oh God. Have you guys ever seen a wet sloth bear? <laughs> <laughs> this thing. Oh my god. Look at the wet koala. Oh god. Looks like a monster from Metro 2033. That will kill you. This is literally a Bloodborne boss. Good god. Keep me away from him. Polar bear. Raised in the Dude, harsh polar bears are mean! Circle, reaching heights of more than 9 feet. They're and so weighing mean. over 1,000 pounds. The polar bear is the largest terrestrial carnivore on Earth. Is he gonna eat the seal? That's a big seal. How big do polar bears? Yeah, how much? Do they eat like their body weight in a day? Are they that kind of animal? I kill polar bears by driving my car. True. Yeah, they're not gonna be a problem in like ten years. Just wait it out. You ain't gonna be shit in ten years. You're all gone unless they start moving down, and then they become grizzly bears. But then their power level decreases, so it's okay. Oh no! Oh no! Get out! Get out! Tiger. Tiger? Has one of the world's most tiger over lions? Paws capable of inflicting heavy blows. Tigers Bro, I saw tigers lose to the honey badger earlier. These guys suck. Or is that a lion? Whatever, they're the same. Cats. Oh! No, pig! No, not the pig! Don't show me that. Box jellyfish. Bro, I fucking knew it. I hate jellyfish. I hate jellyfish so much. I hate these fucking things. I got stung by a pack of jellyfish when I was six years old, and I will never forget it. There were like ten of them. I think there were ten of these, and I survived. And I'll never forgive them. Ten box jellyfish surrounded me. I fought them off, and I lived to tell the tale. Get away as fast as possible. I hate jellyfish, The box dude. jellyfish is one of the most venomous animals- Like, I'm having fun, but I sincerely venomous. fucking hate jellyfish. Black Mamba Snake. Is really? Being the second most venomous- Is number one mosquitoes? Number one is mosquitoes, isn't it? Yeah. I fucking hate that. It's kind of- Black Widow? Uh, I bet Black Widow is honorable mention. Number one is man. Nope, they said they weren't doing humans. They said that. One is mosquitoes, for sure. For sure. Here are some honorable mentions. Cone snail. What? The venom what the fuck is that? Injects it with venom, causes paralysis within one or two seconds, and then they haul in like... Oh, I want to throw up. <sighs> I'm, I'm actually wretched. I don't like that. Dude, I hate, I hate, like, snail slugs, mussels. I fucking hate the ocean. Number one, mosquito. I fucking hate it. I hate it. All these lists are the same. All these lists are the same. All these lists are the same. I called it before the list even started. All these lists are the same. Number one is mosquito. And she's gonna say, you may not think it, or really? Mosquito? Yeah. Mosquitoes transfer dangerous diseases like malaria. Mosquitoes on average kill 8 billion people a year. It may be difficult to believe that mosquitoes are the most dangerous animals She's on the planet. She's saying it. She, I wrote the script. Eat you, this small insect is responsible for killing over a million people each year. Eight billion people each year. That's what I said. Because it spreads diseases. Yeah. The most famous of which is malaria. <laughs> the first one I said. From tropical areas to cold climates. Okay. And are responsible for more human deaths than- Seven billion! Seven billion people killed! That's what I said. I said seven billion people killed. Hey, if you want to see me play a game where I get to be a mosquito, click up here! Click here right now! But not yet. The video's not over. We're still doing more. Dude, both of these look good. Top 20 extinct animals or top 10 Shark Tank products the sharks regret taking. 
I want to see what they regret taking. Will Strange is an entrepreneur from Australia who pitched the idea of a subscription service for men's underwear on the Australian version of Shark Tank. He successfully got an offer from Naomi Simpson I mean, and Janine Alice. I was going to say, like, that's not a terrible idea, right? Like, people will buy it. It's just how there are other competitors, you know? You need to have a sole focus. Great for when I pee pee poo poo my underwear bi monthly. Yeah, every time I shit my pants, I get a new one in two months. So I just have to keep wearing that for the next month. So that's not bad at all. Knowing that there's an end in sight would be very valuable. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. As soon as I see the delivery notification, oh, thank God. These were getting crusty. Doug and Renata Storer pitched the Night Runner 270 shoe lights to the Sharks in season eight. They provide 270 degrees of visibility around you. Wow. You guys looking down at your feet? To identify any uh, trip hazards that might be in your well, path. Okay, Robert if it's heard that right, maybe. Robert an offer, and it seemed that they were well on their way. You know? As it turns out, they didn't end up needing Robert's money. Once their episode aired, their business took off on its own, and they no oh. longer needed a major investment to be successful. Damn. The shoe lights continue to be sold today, and they have now expanded their product line even further. That's fucked up! Dude, so you just, you get on the show, and you pop off, and you don't need anybody. That's good. Good for them. Shark the shark, yeah. All you have to do is come up with a good enough product. You say, fuck you, Mark Cuban. Show no towels. Take one big towel and cut a hole in the middle. That's show no towel. That's a poncho. Lori Who bought Grenier this? To go into Lori! The plan was to try Lori, to sell you these fucking towels moron. to and I have a call into a connection with, with Disney right now. And it's very oh. recent. I haven't heard anything back, but... Wait. Wait. I haven't heard anything back, but... I'd buy in. 50k for a 25% stake? No, I'm in. I'm in at that. That is peanuts. The problem is you have to help grow it. No, I don't. No, I don't. She's got a call with Disney. Now I call Disney. I'm like, listen, Walt, how you like these towels, bro? Kids can change in them. And he's like, no, nah, I'm not into it. It's like, ah. Okay, oh well. Despite a deal with Disney World's water parks, the towel business didn't take off, and her deal with Grenier was less appealing once the cameras were off. Yeah, to be fair, I would never buy one. <laughs> if, they, if if I saw this at a store, like if I was at Disney or something, I saw that, I'd be like, what the fuck is that? The Body Jack. Barbara Corcoran made a deal with Jack Berenger, a.k.a. Cactus Jack. If he could shed 30 pounds using his exercise machine, she'd match Kevin Harrington's deal and fund the other half of Jack's 180k ask. Listen up, Tubby. You drop 30 pounds and maybe I'll buy in. Okay? All right, big fella. Man, holy shit. Barbara is ruthless. She's got to lose the Cactus Jack gut to get the 90 grand from Barbara. Look at her face. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is a thing for her. She's into this. This is a humiliation kink. On live TV! On ABC! This is on prime time! Children are watching! Sure enough, Jack did lose the weight, and infomercials for the body Jack were produced. What?! I thought that was not- I did not expect that. I did not expect that. I did not expect that. I thought it was going to be the opposite thing happened. Good for him! Good shit! I'm sure the product took off swimmingly. My dad influenced me with but one quote. He said, you can trade hours for dollars, or you can trade ideas for millions. Guess which one I chose. His dad was an influencer. Yeah. I can't hear influence the same anymore. I really can't. Sweet balls. Come on. <laughs> That's right. Sweet balls. Press. As we've seen in this list, Mark deals often it. fall through after the show airs when the investors learn of details not disclosed at pitch time. Wait, what are they called? <laughs> Robert buys in and he's like, so what's your product called? Sweet balls. Son of a bitch! I should have asked that! Number one, breathometer. I think this is one where you take, it's like a... It's like one of those um, things where you can tell how drunk you are. It was presented as a smartphone compatible breathalyzer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blowing into the device would yield a reading of one's blood alcohol level. In a rare showing of Unity, founder Charles Yim secured $1 million worth of funding from all five sharks. Damn! How do you fuck that up? 
but details emerged about its accuracy. An investigation determined the product oh, often yielded a no. lower score than reality. This resulted in a settlement with the FTC that required the company to refund anyone who had purchased the product. Oh, the app no! And the product itself were also discontinued. Oh, my God! Bag fumbled! That's the worst fumble I've ever heard of! Dude, he had a million dollars from every shark. Fuck, man. I would not be strong enough to continue walking on this planet. If that happened to me, I would go into the, the jungle or the woods and live a life like Thoreau. I would leave society. That's insane. Holy fuck. I would live in a cave by the ocean. I would wrestle a hippo. Yeah, what else do I have to lose? Fuck, man. That's awful. Good lord.